gentlemen of the 118 scale 3.75 inch 4 inch modern action figure community I'm back again with another video and as promised I am going to be showing you today how I create patches now these patches may or may not work for you but um, it's a very easy alternative to trying to find you know how expensive uh, these little knickknacks can be so it could be a very inexpensive alternative to uh, patching your figures so without further ado we're going to get started and um, like I said it's not that difficult so you only need some tape you're going to need um, some printing paper of your of your choosing whatever color and just print out as much um, as much of these as you want you know what just just take up a whole sheet of paper um, try different fonts and whatever else you can come across and um, that way you'll have time to or you'll have enough uh, e enough supply to um, do some trial and error with you know um, so next you'll need a very sharp um, knife of some type I like this particular type of knife these are knives that you find in Home Depot they are usually used for um, removing stickers and um, like caulking and grout because they lay flush and you can um, uh, pretty much scrape along a surface and get things off with that so try to find yourself a knife like this and I'll show you exactly why I prefer to use one like this when we get started and we are actually cutting next you want to definitely have yourself some uh, really strong double-sided tape this right here is 25 pound tape um, which means it um, holds with 25 pounds of pressure or 25 pounds of, of uh, ad adhesive I'm not sure how you would word that but pretty much is very strong double-sided tape um, this is very inexpensive tape you can buy it from Home Depot or Lowe's you don't want to use that regular um, scotch or scots whatever it's called um, double-sided tape because it's not strong enough the minute you put it on it'll be peeling back off it'll it'll be a headache so definitely use something like this and then I also have this right here which is T-Rex ferociously strong tape holds up to 50 pounds extra th thick double-sided tape and this is a different one this one's 50 pounds all weather extreme hold this is the type you want to use because you can get this off but it's not just going to keep falling off. It's got directions on how to use it in the in the back, and to make it even stronger, if you um, apply this tape, heat it up, like run a lighter across across it, and the minute it starts to get hot, stick it onto whatever it is you're trying to adhere it to, mush it together for a few seconds, and that is going to create a hold unlike any other. It will not be coming loose. So I use this tape because. Um, first off, it's thick. It has a really good appearance on the figure. And um, let's get into it. So first what I like to do is I like to um, take my tape. And remember, um, this type of tape that I use, you can use whichever one you want. But I use the flat tape. This is the type of tape that you get around the holidays. And um, it's, it's out there every day. But ultimately it's more famous during the holidays because once you put it on your gift it kind of disappears you can't really see it it doesn't have a shine so you see how flat that looks and if you notice um, some of the patches out there uh, look just like this like they have that little um, flat plasticky sheen and um, it doesn't shine but if you wanted a shiny patch like you were printing badges or something like that and you wanted it to shine then by all means use uh, the uh, scotch original tape scots or is it scotch scotch tape the original tape and um, it has a little shine to it plus it's clear so it'll shine and make it look more realistic but for 
um, patches that you want to go on uniforms, you want to use this flat tape. So what you want to do is you want to get you a strip off and you want to um, run you a strip across of this tape. Do it just like that. And then as you run the strip across, you'll get your tape on there. But ultimately, let me show you what this tape looks like. I should have had it started by now. I'm sorry. All right, there you go. Oh, I was gonna. I hate when this happens. Sometimes I get defeated by tape, and this is one of those times. But anyway, see how flat this tape is. It doesn't have a shine. It's not clear. It's kind of like a uh, opaque, if that's what it, if that's how you pronounce it, or if that's how you call it. But whatever. Let's move along. I don't like that this tape defeated me, so I'm going to defeat it once and for all. And that make me look like a fool on my own video. Pfft. Got another thing coming. Jeez. Off camera, that tape defeated me. But anyway, good thing I didn't uh, waste you guys' you guys' time with that tape. Trying to get it off because it defeated me. But anyway, keep your tape started. But let's move along so now what I want to do is I want to use my razor knife see these are the patches I want to do I'm gonna make the sheriff's bat, uh, patches so this is what I'll do doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be perfect right there and this is why I like using this type of knife real simple straight cut to the point now, I have this. What I'll do now is I'll marry it here. And unfortunately, you're going to waste a bit of this tape. This double sided sticky tape, you're going to waste some of that. But um, it's all good because we're trying to accomplish something here. So now you take your knife. And you find out where you want it to line up. And you plunge it down. You do the same thing on the other side. What I like about this tape, I mean about this particular knife, is that it actually, you actually feel it plunge and like kind of snap when it goes through and um, that's why I like that type of knife this type of knife now go on this side and this side clean it all up remember always cap your knife don't leave it sitting surely you'll pick it up and that's what you will have and on the other side you have your sticky side just peel that off and apply it to your figure and um, in this at this point here I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like on a figure and this is not perfect this is just showing you how to do it you can make it neater you can make it bigger you can make it wider whatever you want to do whatever font you're choosing to, to print in I think I chose a um, Times New Roman or not Times New Roman but I I've picked a font of, I think it's either 9 or 10. 9 or 10 is the font that I use, and it fit perfectly on my figures. I think I could go 10, 11. 11, 10, and 9 are the fonts you want to pick for 118 scale, 3.75 inch, 4 inch modern action figures. You could also use this same, uh, the same technique to apply tape to your six inch figures 12 inch figures or not tape but patches to your um other size figures six inch 12 inch whatever um it should work for any figure you want and and this is this could be temporary it's it's more of a permanent because of the tape on covering it and then this very thick double-sided tape on the back side so it's it's definitely like a permanent um it's like a permanent uh uh patch but it can be removed if you want it removed. And um, I mean, 
what more do you what, what more can you ask for free patches they're not free because you got to buy all the stuff but you might have a lot of this laying around so with that being said i hope this helps you guys out and i hope that um trying to find those patches and not being able to find them have been solved here um there's plenty of ways to do this this is my way um i created this way and um Hey, it is what it is. So with that being said, I'm going to get on out of here. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to link them down below. I'll get to them at my earliest convenience. And um, I'm out. Peace. Until the next one. I'm going to be making these videos. All right. One love.